welcome everyone to Norman, Oklahoma, Texas Tech, and the Sooners. A busy day of Big 12 hoops across the ESPN family of networks. Just 2-2 early on. Tariq Owens from mid-range, no. Christian James has it. Now that we'll talk about a lot today, Brendan, but maybe Christian James to get off to a better start. He just needs to see some basketballs go through the hoop. He lost, he's lost a little bit of his edge, his confidence. Just one of 13 from three-point range in the last three ball games. Felix, he had a tip by one of the best shot blockers in the country, Tariq Owens. And the blocking foul called on Moretti. TCU gets a big win in Ames, Iowa today, Brendan. That mixes things up a little bit. Iowa State, one of those teams vying for a Big 12 Conference Championship. They fall to seven and four. We see K-State, they have a chance today to really pull away. I'm telling you, one thing that I have learned in all the years of covering the Big 12 is just when you think you have these teams figured out and potentially what's gonna happen, uh, something like a big win from TCU on the road in Ames happens. Both these teams right now struggling to get into any flow offensively. Looks to receive some good looks, yeah. but man, they just can't finish. It's the third miss layup of this game. Mooney going to work. Francis from the corner. Brandon Francis has been great as of late. He's coming off a career-high 16 in the win over West Virginia. Yeah, basically a starter for Chris Beard, a sixth starter, if you will, coming off the bench. Plays heavy minutes. You mentioned what he did at West Virginia. Uh, he is bringing that off the bench for Tech. It takes pressure off that young man right there, Jared Polk. Francis, a guy that definitely can score in bunches. The enemy in transition straight to the hoop. Foul, count it. A little defense, Chucky, producing offense for Oklahoma, who has struggled in the half court. The enemy, a strong move of finish. Oklahoma within one. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by Five Hour Energy Shots. Get back to 100%. And in part by State Farm. Talk to an agent today at 800 State Farm. Hi, guys. Hey. What time is your flight? I've got an hour until I'm supposed to board. All right. We have things to do. <sighs> Is there any cancellations? I thought she was your best friend. Yeah, she was. But they attached a dog head on the man's body. Where's your backpack? Mom. Ow. You know what? I think I'm going to sew your backpack to your back. What do you think? Doesn't that cloud right there look like a penguin? Really? That looks exactly like a busted pipe spewing water everywhere. Can you just stop being an insurance agent for like two seconds? It's my job to think about these things. Well, what does that cloud look like? That looks just like your house. That's being burglarized. They're stealing your TV right there. Oh, and right there, it's a bear destroying your car. You need a vacation soon, very soon. You know, Chris, some of us don't have an off-season. Wow. All right. These cheesy bacon fries are tremendous. I know. Crispy bacon is the best thing to ever happen to the fries. <laughs> what? It's the Fries Show. McDonald's world-famous fries. Featuring bacon. Or is the crispy bacon giving the fries some street cred with a whole new audience? I'm gonna let bacon think that. What was that? I couldn't hear you over the bacon ovation. <laughs> bacon, bacon, bacon. McDonald's Classics with Bacon. Only for limited time. Is it the best thing to happen to our classics or to bacon? Try for yourself and decide. Do you want ready-to-wear clothing without all the hassle? You can with Bounce Dryer Sheets. We dried one shirt without Bounce and an identical shirt using Bounce. 
The Bounce shirt has fewer wrinkles, less static, and more softness and freshness. Bounce out wrinkles, bounce out static. You need to buy a car, and you want to get an excellent price. You'd think with all these options, it'd be easy. But with terms like MSRP, invoice, list price, things get confusing pretty fast. You just want to get a real price, and that's where TrueCar comes in. Only with TrueCar can you see what other people paid for the car you want. And you can connect with certified dealers who offer prices based on this same information. None of those other sites do that. From end to end, TrueCar is your only one-stop solution. Welcome back to Saturday Showcase presented by Five Hour Energy. Looks a little bit like what we've seen early on offensively from both of these sides. Tough but shot. Absolutely. Alongside Brendan Manser, I'm Chucky Kemp. Texas Tech on the road, a team that is looking to try to be the team that dethrones Kansas. This is a game you got to have. They're still a good position, only a game and a half behind Kansas State. And you know, if you're going to win a championship in this league, albeit it's tough to do, you got to win road games, particularly against the bottom part of the league. So when you look at the schedule, Tech obviously has Oklahoma here right now. They go to Stillwater Wednesday night. They're able to steal those two, Chucky. Then they come home for their final six games in the regular season. And that definitely puts them with an opportunity to win a Big 12 championship. They stayed at seven and two. Colbert with a step back, no good. Christian James pulls it down. And we talked so much about Tech defensively, but Oklahoma has been a good defensive team this year. One of the things they can do in virtually all five spots, and Manic throws it away right there, is they can switch and still match up. And that makes it difficult to run your stuff against it. So, Lon Kruger, you see right here, that's one of the things he's done a lot over the years. He's, he's been a solid coach at both ends of the floor. He's been terrific here in his eight seasons at Oklahoma. And as we've talked to him and his thoughts on this three game streak, he, he's cool as a cucumber, oh, isn't he? Goodness. And he's, 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 he's been down this road before and has not lost confidence in his team. 33 seasons as a head coach. I said, you've seen it all, haven't you? He said, yeah, occasionally I'll see something new. I'm learning every year still. Chris Beard in year number three in Lubbock. And talking to him yesterday about where they were picked in the preseason. And he said, look, we just had too much invested in it. We, we weren't going to fall off that much. We, we worked too hard. And I told you, I, I thought, it wasn't just a good team. He's building a program. Well, they have an identity, and it's it's toughness, uh, which exudes mostly on the defensive end. And you're talking about a ball club that lost six of their eight top scores, five seniors, and you can understand why people outside of the Big 12 thought they might have a down year. But this is a team that, again, tough defensive side of the ball. They share it offensively. They have a superstar in Culver. And if you watch Chris Beard, when he was a small college, Juco, wherever it's been, Little Rock, he has always stayed old. We've got two grad transfers in Mooney and Owens. And he was able to stay experienced. And I think that's been key and has helped with their identity and the consistency he's trying to build or has built already in the program. Offense trying to get something going. Almost seven minutes in. With nine total points. Francis to the hoop, left hand. He's been a nice little spark off the bench. He has five. And when you can knock down a three like he did earlier, and then when they try to run you off the line, can put it on the deck. And if one plays off the other. Tonight, 6 Eastern on ESPN, another Sonic blockbuster. Zion Williamson and the second-ranked Duke Blue Devils take on number three, Virginia. It's the rematch, this time in Charlottesville. Blue Devils beat the Cavaliers back in mid-January, 72-70. Zion and R.J. Barrett combined for 57 of those 72. Those guys are they're decent. They'll look to sweep Virginia. Tonight on the road, had some success there in the past. Doesn't look like a freshman class. This is built different. My goodness, grown men. Now, fast forward to about five weeks, six weeks from now. It'll be interesting to see Virginia after the way they exited last year. 
got to know that, not that they weren't focused. I mean, the Phoenix teams are, are, are terrific. They're good offensively too this year. But, you know, how much will that drive them even more? Out pass is rebounded by Reynolds, looking for Owens up top. I don't think Tech does. Look how far out Oklahoma's running their offense right now. They really shove you out of what you want to do. Reynolds steps into one way too strong. We've seen that from a few Sooners now. Sean Corpru runs it down. Corpru, corner three. How about that? Coming off 10 points against West Virginia. First double-figure game of the Big 12 season. So you get that performance from him and then also Francis. That'll make you feel good if you're Texas Tech. The enemy looking for Doolittle. And right at Owens, it's a charge. The team is able to create so much energy with that defense. It is 10-5, Texas Tech up. That's one of those graduate transfers. Tariq Owens taking the charge. Hey, I just wanted oh, to... Hey, oh, there he is. Are it's you looking at the results of yesterday's constant contact email? We were supposed to watch that together. I'm sorry. I can't even look at you. Constant contact email marketing. Powerful stuff. This is game fuel. 16 ounces of pure annihilation. Perfect for finding the second to last man standing. Tastes like berry flavored wind sauce. New Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel. Victory in a can. You still stressed about buying our first house, sweetie? Yeah. I thought doing some hibachi grilling would help take my mind off it all. Maybe you could relieve some stress by calling Geico for help with our homeowner's insurance. Geico helps with homeowner's insurance? They sure do. And they could save us a bundle of money, too. I'm calling Geico right now. Cell phone. It's ringing. Get to know Geico and see how much you could save on homeowners and condo insurance. Army National Guard soldiers serve to give back to their country and their community. Their part-time commitment qualifies them for benefits such as health and life insurance, education benefits, and retirement and VA home loan benefits. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more. Hiring was always a huge challenge. Endless hours on job sites with not a lot to show for it. Then I found ZipRecruiter. They figured out hiring. I post my job, they put it all over the web, and they send me the right people because their technology is smart. ZipRecruiter often sends me the right person in 24 hours. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Try it for free today at ZipRecruiter.com slash easy. Support your favorite college at Fanatics.com, the largest assortment of officially licensed fan gear from more than 500 colleges. Every conference, every team. Shop now and get today's special offer. Fanatics.com, officially licensed everything. At Credible.com, we've helped tens of thousands of people save money by refinancing their student loans. In three minutes, we'll get you actual rates from multiple lenders. We could save you hundreds of dollars a month. Visit Credible.com to see how much you could save. Duke is out for the sweet. Virginia is out for sweet revenge. Hold up, let me get up in it now. I'm here to win it Setting now. up a high stakes rematch. Number two, Duke. Number three, Virginia. Round two. Tonight at six on ESPN. Welcome back to Saturday Showcase, presented by Five Hour Energy. Texas Tech up 10 5. The calling card for the Red Raiders. It is all about the defense allowing just 57 and a half points per game. That is third in the NCAA. That field goal percentage defense is phenomenal. What makes this team what it is on that end? And those are NCAA ranks, I not know. Big 12 rank. Well, first and foremost, they're tough. And they've got perimeter length. 
They're help oriented one pass away. They do such a great job of pressuring on the ball, but not allowing you to turn the corner. Yeah, you also have rim protection with a guy like Owens. And the most important part of it, Chucky, I've been around a lot of programs, but they spend time at it. And it's February, and they're still spending time on defense principles, helping recover drills, one-on-one -on -one containment drills. That lets these guys, like Mooney right here, know what their identity is. I mean, they're just relentless defensively. They'll stay with Oklahoma. Well, Matt Mooney, long arms, good length at 6'2", and you cannot cross over in front of him. Great job of getting his hands down low, creating the loose ball. But again, pressure on the ball, all while containing. That's why you've got to be disciplined. You are not going to get a good look in two or three passes. Certainly less than two or three passes against Texas Tech for the Kansas State of the world. You have to move the ball, run your stuff, and trust it. Owens going to work out to Moretti. Eight to shoot for Francis. Over open for three. Struggled from deep as of late. But also there to keep it in. Here come the Sooners. We've talked about this Texas Tech defense, but for Oklahoma offensively, what can you do to counteract that? Well, ball movement, spacing. You got to find ways to shift the D, drive it, and then how about a little Brady Manning? Got to work right there. Knockdown shots. Yeah, and, he, and he's really shot it well the last two games. Eight of 13 from three-point range. Manning had 13 and seven in the first meeting. You notice he's cut his hair too. Edwards pulls up. Discombobulated right now, offensively. Trying to get it to Culver. Reynolds doing a good job to deny the ball. Moretti, tough shot on the baseline. Rebound, Kalixti. Reynolds wide open. It missed a couple of those. Yeah. It and, and I would take that from Reynolds. I mean, I think against Tech, Oklahoma gets lost in transition right there. Against Tech, sometimes your best offense is if you get a defensive stop, a one and done, get that ball in the middle, run your lanes, and try to get something in transition. That's difficult to get any breathing room against that. Oh, tough finish. Shard Odoms, one of those seniors for Lon Kruger, willing to do whatever it takes. And he's a, an energy, play hard, defense guy first, but excellent move. Oklahoma has to recover if you're ready. Pretty open and nails it. And that's what that good defense does for you. It, it, it buys time until you can get going offensively. Odom's going in at Owens, and he'll be fouled. Tonight at 8 Eastern, 8.30 Eastern on ABC, NBA Saturday Primetime, presented by HyperX Gaming. Russell Westbrook leads OKC against James Harden and the Rockets. That 30-plus point streak is now at 28 games. Coverage begins at 8 with NBA Countdown, presented by Straight Talk Wireless. After Odoms drew the foul right there, you, you look at Texas Tech's bench, and Chris Beard and his entire staff gritting their teeth. And you can hear them yelling from the bench, driver, driver, driver. And, and last night's practice talked about Odoms. And this is a guy that's not going to hurt you from long range. He's going to drive it, and he's going to go left and take it strong. There you go. Taking it strong right there. And some energy right now in this building. Time going to the right side, though. 
Odiase came out and struggled for Texas Tech early. And now Owen sitting on two fouls. We'll see if we see any more Tariq Owens this half. And we talked about, Chucky, the, the energy that Odoms can bring. Off the miss, that's a cardinal sin, by the way. Giving up an offensive rebound to the free throw shooter. Odoms has definitely lifted Oklahoma in terms of their body language and brought a little toughness here. The enemy on the left wing. Not the 0 for 6 drought. The streak he had going coming into this game. Manic for three, left wing. Off the mark. Odiase rebounds. Just mishandled. Pass was a little low and Moody couldn't handle it. The enemy, nice behind the back move. Euro step and blocked from behind by Odiase. Numbers this direction for the Red Raiders. Moody for three. Got it. Tell you what, that's what happens if you don't finish the play in transition. And then you don't have defensive balance. Tech taking advantage of broken floors. Call an offensive foul on Moretti. A little wraparound. Well, the transfer from South Dakota has been a terrific addition. Good defender. It's brought excellent shooting and balance to the offense of the Red Raiders. Wherever you go, however you go, for energy on the go, it's got to be five hour energy. And with zero sugar and four calories, there's nothing holding you back. Works fast, works long, tastes good. Five Hour Energy, energy on the go. How do you think they make Starburst taste so juicy? Starburst? Juice Dratic Equation. Super top secret mathematical formula they keep stored inside a safe, inside a vault, inside a volcano. Oh, Juice Dratix. Starburst, unexplainably juicy. A bad day on the road still needs a good one off it. Progressive helps keep you out there. is all about choices. Watch the whole season. Follow my favorite team. Or my favorite player. Watch on my phone. How you want it. My TV. Where you want it. Or my tablet. Go to directtv.com slash NBA or call 1-800-GET-SPORTS to order. Come gather around people wherever you roam. And admit that the waters around you have grown. Then you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone For the times they are a-changing For the times they are a-changing For the times they are a-changing Duke is out for the sweet Virginia is out for sweet revenge Hold up, let me get up in it now I'm here to win it Setting up a high state rematch Number two, Duke. Number three, Virginia. Round two, tonight at six on ESPN. Shouldn't have to sell it much more than that. This is the game to watch tonight. Third straight time they've met with both of them in the top five 
ACC is a, uh, it's a scary place to live, I'm sure, for opposing coaches, but man, I cannot wait to watch that one tonight. Man, obviously a great matchup. Think about the implications. North Carolina and then Virginia and Duke, all with just one loss in the ACC, so maybe one with two after that ball game. Ray Jones back for Duke this time, didn't play in the first meeting. Producer John Kettering gave us the reason why things would be different this time around, and I, I can't quite put it into uh, into words for you. <laughs> but he thinks that Trey Jones is gonna something's gonna be different. I know that. There's something positive right there is Edwards. Good strong move, finish, freshman right there. Got a nice little all-around offensive game. Tech's getting contributions from multiple guys as Jarrett Culver been defended well by Oklahoma so far. But Tech's held Oklahoma and Christian James in, tech, in check. Edwards Whoa. rises up again. Well, he's a confident young man. 41% from three-point range. And after you get that first bucket to go sometimes, Chucky, I mean, you really start feeling it. Edwards in transition now. Behind the back to Francis. He's got a full head of steam. Extra pass. Four proof for three. Wixty oh. fouled by Odiase. Trailing late. It just doesn't quite make a whole lot of sense. They've Shot it well from deep, though, and Texas Tech. Talk a lot about K-State being a team that they don't have to be great offensively to be good. I think Texas Tech is similar in the sense that their defense is just so good. Yeah. You just need to hit a few shots. No, I totally agree. You just have to be efficient. And, you know, K-State has Wade and Brown at the center of their offensive around. For Tech, it's Culver. But it's, you know, the, the beauty of it is, if you're not one of those guys, you can play off of them. There's so much attention in the scouting report is to those guys. And you're right, you just have to be efficient offensively, not turn it over, run your sets, and, and try to get a good look each time, because you can rely on your defense, as we've already talked about, both these teams, to extend leads or, or get you back into a game if that's necessary. The enemy charged with a foul. Away from the ball. Texas Tech on an 8-0 run right now in the last couple minutes. Four of six from the field in that span. Tolbert Fader, no. Owens keeping it alive. And he is fouled. They got... I thought it was going to be the enemy, but I think... Oklahoma's got to be careful here. Last five minutes, you're already down 12. You don't want this thing to get busted open more. And there's an opportunity right here for Culver. And I think this is a good call. The reason being is you're going to see Polo. See, here's the drive, good step through, and he comes down. And I see that a second time, though, Chucky. Did he get all basketball? I think that's, but you're on the track. I mean, right, the referee yeah. sees the arms come down, and nine times out of ten, that's going to be your call. And, and it would be difficult, and I'm not saying he may have done it, to bring both hands down at that size and have both hands on the ball. Yeah. Cola is a big body. He's one of those guys that you look across the floor and you think, that's a big guy. He's about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, but as you get closer to him, he's legit 6'10". Doolittle floater. Cola can't pull it down. But I like the look right there. Oklahoma and Long Kruger has really tried to get Doolittle the last eight or ten games. The ball, high post, short corner, work those areas. I take that look every time. Francis got it from three again. Texas Tech pushes the lead to 17. 
30 second break back in Norman in just a moment. Our opponents, they see a man in a wheelchair. To us, we see our coach who's perfect. I wish I can do more than what I can do sometimes. And those kids give me that feeling that I can do anything. What he endures on a daily basis can't be more difficult. If he's willing to do all of that, then what are we willing to do? These kids would follow him no matter where he'd go. Who says I can't? Nobody! Who says I can't? Nobody! Texas Tech, 54.5% from deep in this game. They have shot it well, and just a variety of people. Brandon Francis, two triples, already eight points in the game. And you talked about it. He's one of those guys that can really make a big difference off that bench. Well, he's talented. He's 6'5". He's he can shoot it. Coming off that 16-point game where he was 7 of 10 from the floor against West Virginia. And, and today... Three of fives, made two threes. But he's also, when you, if you don't close out good on him, he can turn the corner at that size and drive it with strength. And this is good news for Tech that he's played well in two games. Oh, you finally snaps a four-plus minute drought. Their second one of the game, it was James. Oklahoma handled the double team out of the timeout from Texas Tech in a good way, reversed the basketball, and Got James that wide open look. And hopefully, if you're Long Kruger, that gets him going. Wild pass from Culver. Kalixti. Rolls all the way to Kalixti. Not sure that was the intended target. Odiase comes down hard right to Freeman, and he couldn't handle it. And that one, you just got to shake your head. That'll take us to another timeout. Texas Tech all over Oklahoma, 30-16 from Norman. Hey, you gonna do this or what? You gotta do it. And keep doing it. Do it big. Hit it. Step it up. Always take the risk. Don't just watch it. Put your phone down and do it. Trip splash like that. Who don't and those who do. Let's do. Do you spend the night trying to get comfortable? Your knees rub bone on bone. Your back and hips ache. You wake up in pain. Now, from the company that's reshaped how America sleeps, there's the Contour Legacy Pillow. The patented ergonomically designed tapered leg pillow that naturally fits the contours of your legs, knees, and thighs to help align your spine and alleviate pain. Watch, when you sleep on your side, your leg falls forward, twisting your pelvis and lower back, putting pressure on your spine, hips, and sciatic. But the Contour Legacy Pillow cushions your knees and cradles your legs, relieving stress on joints while restoring your lower back alignment. Sleeping on your side, your leg comes over and puts you out of alignment, causing low back pain, hip pain, even knee pain. By using the Contour Legacy Pillow, it restores the natural alignment of the spine, helping to alleviate pain and pressure, leading to a much more restful sleep. Old-fashioned leg pillows are bulky, fall out, and get caught on sheets. But the anatomical design of the Legacy Pillow perfectly fits the shape of your body the way nature intended. You can even use two together for full leg alignment. Legacy Pillow is exclusively ventilated so it always stays cool and dry. With top crescent design, it cuddles up to you perfectly and easily moves with you. Ordinary pillows go flat, but the Legacy Pillow is made from a soft memory foam so it never loses its shape. And the cover is machine washable. Now, the Contour Legacy Pillow is just $19.99. But wait, you can also get the Contour Head Pillow, a $29 value free. Just pay separate processing and handling. The soothing orthopedic support will cradle your neck and head for full spine alignment. The Legacy Pillow also comes with a full 90-night sleep tight guarantee. You get it all, a $50 value, yours for just $19.99. So order now. To order, call 1-800-587-7181 or go to GetLegacyPillow.com. That's 1-800-587-7181.
ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Phillips 66, proud sponsor of Big 12 basketball, and Mountain Dew, do the do. Sooner faithful, hoping to have an impact on today's game. So far, not so much. Christian James just knocking down a three a moment ago. He's one for six in the field now, one for two from deep. It's just one of those deals, Brendan, where you have to have him. I mean, the success will come when he when he starts playing a little bit better. You remember a month ago, Oklahoma was in the top 25 and, and playing like a top 25 team. Uh, two reasons, two biggest reasons. Number one, defensively, they were playing at a really high level at the time. And then number two, Christian James right there. He, he had come off a stretch where he had double doubles in six of seven games. And one of the things that he has struggled, part of the reason he struggled, is Oklahoma really doesn't have a breakdown point guard. The enemy is not that yet as a freshman. Kalixti is more of a scoring point guard. Tough finish inside. Nice floater from James. So with, with talented players like James, you see a lot of times you make a three, you get a little transition bucket and a broken floor to go, and now all of a sudden it feels good. You see the basketball go through the hoop. And James is the type of guy that will get hot and get going early. If I'm Oklahoma, I try to find a way to get him a look on this possession. In the corner, James on the right wing, back to Doolittle, and there's some hand checking inside. It's gonna go on Tyler Edwards, his first. Oklahoma, you look at them, and they're a team that was picked eighth out of ten in the preseason. We know how valuable those polls are because, you know, West Virginia picked third. We see where they're at. Texas Tech, Oklahoma picked so low. Right, right. But you, you, like you said, Oklahoma, a team that was top 25 pretty recently, they were picked eighth. It was almost like not a big expectation that you get to that level and you start to think, well, hey, we, we belong here. And now they're struggling again. And yeah. So well, goes to well and, and in this league, it will absolutely beat you up because all 10 teams are, are quality ball clubs. Look, look what Oklahoma State did Mid today. Depleted roster. Kansas has got a depleted roster. West Virginia has lost Canate um, and had some struggles. But the point is, those teams are still capable. They're tough. They're well coached. And so you're going to have stretches in this league where you, your teams will lose three or four. But you got to have a short memory. I think Oklahoma gotten beaten up a little bit and they have definitely lost confidence and swagger that man is finding his confidence <laughs> Francis again from deep Oklahoma poor job of shading towards him right there way too much room for a guy that's already started off this first half in a great way Diva foul on Edwards number two in about a minute span Watch his three right here. And again, no pressure on the ball. Slow to recover and do little right there. And Francis, 11 points, three or four from three point range. He's a former Billy Donovan player at Florida, really playing at a high level. And that goes back to what well, you and I have talked about already this first half. Chucky is Chris Beard being old. Not, he, not him personally. He's still a young coach, but having those experienced guys, he, he says there's a direct relationship between experience and success. And, and that's that's absolutely the case. And you see it all the time, guys like Francis in their senior year, really closing out the final month to six weeks at a high level. Maybe that's what we're seeing out of him right now. Over the backboard. Four crew misses from three. Francis in the last two games, and obviously still a full half left. He has 27 combined points in those two games. Five for seven from long range. So if you're Oklahoma right here, you're, you're down 11. Had very few easy looks. You have the ball here, and you're going to have enough of an exchange. You're going to get it at least twice. A couple good offensive possessions, a couple stops, and all of a sudden you're right back in it. 
Mooney denies Calixti inside. Where's Calixti? A, a big size advantage. And look at the link on Mooney right there. Calixti not able to turn the corner. And then Mooney, an excellent defensive play right there. This, Calixti's tried to turn the corner but has not been able to. He's got to move the ball first. And then when he gets it back, look to attack those gaps. Freeman. Into the corner, just mishandled by James. Well, they had him. Calixti hit the traffic in the gap. And you know, if you turn the corner slightly, Tech's going to be there to help. And they're going to help with strength. And so you've got to make sure you come out of that. And that's what Lon Kruger's probably telling him. You've got to come out of that and make a assertive, crisp pass. Because if that's a clean play to James's chest, he's going to be able to shoot that in rhythm. Over just four points in this one. One for six shooting. Referee's not sure whose ball it is. Oklahoma, both sides pleading their case. And it'll be OU ball. And a good communication between the officials right there. Antonio Petty going over to John Higgins to make sure they get that call correct. 9-3 run for the Sooners right now. And again, an opportunity right here for Oklahoma to get this under 10. And, and, and then, the, then the speech is, hey, we haven't played well. Tech has taken out of everything we wanted to do, but it's manageable. Yeah. I mean, there, there's definitely something psychological about it being a single digit deficit, particularly at home, going into halftime. Manic going to work on Francis, got some space, physical move inside, and it's single digits. So there you go. I'm telling you, this is an, a very important stop that will translate to the com complexion of the second half for Oklahoma. Odiase has it and a chance. Are you kidding me? Tough angle on the baseline, and that that just rips your heart out at the end of the at the end of the half. Five-hour energy. Texas Tech up 11 on Oklahoma here in Norman. The Red Raiders looking to keep pace at the top of the Big 12 Conference. Fourth side at Lloyd Noble Center in Norman, alongside Brendan Manzer. I'm Chucky Kemp. It's been all Red Raiders so far, and it, it's not just been one side of the ball. They've done everything well. Nothing new. Uh, first and foremost, the defensive end, the, the toughness, uh, help oriented. They get tremendous pressure on the ball. Look at Mooney right there. Crossover, gets his hands in there. Culver forces a tough pass so Mooney can run under. He's got three steals in the first half, by the way. And then everything's tough, especially on Christian James of Oklahoma. And then usually it's defense and Jared Culver, but in the first half it's defense and Brandon Francis. 11 points. Knocking down threes, driving to the hole. There's his third three-point shot. He's three or four from there, Chucky. But Texas Tech, first and foremost defensively, has been outstanding. And then the performance by Francis in the first half. Oklahoma, you never want to see the turnover number and the made field goal number be that close. Eight made field goals, seven turnovers. Christian James has to get going. Lon Kruger talked about we need confidence. We need these guys to come out and hit shots early. I got to think it resets here. The first five minutes, you need that. You need to hit a shot. But you can't let your lack of offense or struggling offensively ever affect your defense. And I felt like at times for Oklahoma, it's done that in the last three or four games. They've got to get that toughness back. You're not going to out-tough Tech, but you've got to, in the very least, match their toughness. So you've got no shot. Mooney pulls up in transition. He has eight today. So those shooters love threes in transition. Your, your body's naturally moving towards the rim. You're, you're naturally squared up. And Mooney knocks down another one. James against Mooney. Outside Manic wide open for three, trying to answer and he can't. 
They get an offensive rebound. Kalitsky right back at it. And pretty good looks, though. It looked like Kalixi had a wide open shot, but notice the effort to contest from Texas Tech from a great distance. Odiase pulls down the rebound. Be a foul on Doolittle, I believe. If so, it'll be his third. And it is. Tell you what, when 32 for Tech is in the game, you better put your body on. You see Doolittle just turn and watch. <laughs> and that wide body right there, who is a grown man, Doolittle's a grown man. But Odiasi just shoves him underneath. Again, that's that's one of those plays that's just being tough. Moody away from the screen. Moretti penetrating. Fades away, Davide Moretti. What smooth shot right there. Gets to the helper and mannequin. Moretti. Little teardrop right over the top of his hand. 5 0 run out of the gates for the Red Raiders. A oh, good find underneath. Doolittle has an easy one. It's a big bucket for the Sooners right now. Oklahoma, this is the end of the floor. Now they've got to take a page from Texas Tech's identity. This is the end right here. You got to get stops. Buy yourself some time to dip into this lead. Owens mid range. Another steal. It's Moody again. He's been so active defensively to Culver going up. Two hands from Jared Culver. Ron Kruger, he's got to get a timeout right now, and I, and I think that he will. A perfect start for Texas Tech to begin this second half. Red Raiders have pushed their lead all the way to 18. It's that combination again, turning defense to offense. That'll take our first break of the second half. Finally, Jarrett Culver attacking the rim. Wherever you go, however you go, for energy on the go, it's got to be five-hour energy. And with zero sugar and four calories, there's nothing holding you back. Works fast, works long, tastes good. Five Hour Energy, energy on the go. Selfless service is the guiding principle of every Army National Guard soldier. They have a stake in the well-being of the neighborhoods where they live and work. To be an Army National Guard soldier is to serve something greater than yourself. Learn more at NationalGuard.com. Here comes the rain. What's that girl? Who needs help? Take me to her! Come and vote! Why aren't we taking roads? Oh. oh, you made it! Do you have change for a dollar? This was the emergency? Yes, I was busy. 24-hour roadside assistance from America's number one motorcycle insurer. You know, I think you're my best friend. You don't have to say I'm your best friend. That's okay. Hi, Phil Swift here. People everywhere tell me how much they love the Flex Seal family of products. Definitely a lifesaver. I love Flex Seal and I'll use all their products. For the common homeowner, it's a life changer. I'm not sure what magic you guys do, but this stuff is incredibly durable. This stuff is awesome. It really works. Best stuff I've ever got. Flex Seal. I always have a can of Flex Seal in my house, always. The product definitely does what it says. Stops leaks. We love meeting Flex Seal fans like these. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, Flex Seal is the way to go. I've been using Flex Seal since 2012, and it's been a very proven product. We absolutely love Flex Seal. I would recommend it to anyone for any project. It's fantastic. You've got to get Flex Tape. Flex Tape I've ever used, I've already told a lot of people about it. Once you start using it, you start finding all these other uses that you wouldn't even think of. Imagine everything you could do with the Flex Seal family of products.
Duke is out for the sweet. Virginia is out for sweet revenge. Hold up, let me get up in it now. I'm here to win it Setting now. up a high stakes rematch. Number two, Duke. Number three, Virginia. Round two, tonight at six on ESPN. Texas Tech up 18 on Oklahoma, and Sooners a little bit thin today. That's Jemani McNeese on the sideline, senior from Illinois, six foot 10, 230. That's a big body in there they could use in a game like today. Absolutely, and he's elite athletically. He's a, he's a rim protector. Would help them on the glass. He was he was important in that first meeting of Oklahoma getting 16 point, second chance points. And he's battled injuries all year. You know, he came out of the gate, first seven games of the year, Chuck. He averaged 9.7 boards. Then he had the initial injury, and it really has taken him, or, made, or been hard for him to overcome that psychologically. And then tweaks it again. Having a tough stretch, and he, he is a big loss. He would make an impact in this game. Right ankle that McNeese is dealing with, and actually, might have even tweaked it yesterday at practice. I saw them working on it yesterday toward the end of practice. See how long he's out. The Sooners would really like to have him back. It is a 20-point game as Culver knocks down the mid-range shot. I tell you, you know you are more than about one guy, a soon-to-be pro. When you're up 11 on the norm on the road at half, and Culver only had four points. Saw his smooth jumper right there. An elite player, mid-range game. <laughs> Attack the gaps, terrific in transition. And last year, Chucky, where Texas Tech had Keenan Evans to hand the ball to late in games and close out. Tech doesn't really have that this year. And, and essentially, it becomes Culver in a lot of these games. It attests to his versatility as a basketball player. James looking for an opening. Doolittle inside. Corpru had his arms around Doolittle. We were talking before we came back about just the message at halftime when Oklahoma's down 11. Texas Tech had played so well, but still the Sooners were close enough. And I thought you made a good point about what the messages were at halftime. Well, both coaches, and you, you tell, if you're Lon Groover, you're telling your guys, hey, we're down 11, but first four or five minutes, let's cut this to six or seven, and we're at home. Good crowd, we've got a ball game. And then the other message would have been, nice move right there by the sophomore man. And, you know, I'm sure Chris Drew said, hey, look, these guys are fragile right now. Oklahoma's lost three in a row. We're up 11. We've been tougher than them. And go out and get this done early. Manic trying to flip the script here, give this crowd some energy. Brady Manic has played well the last two games coming in. You get the put back on one end and you turn around and then a sacrifice play on the defensive end. Omar, look. Omar, check this out. Hi, yeah, I was calling to see if you do laser hair removal for men. Notice that my hips are off the ground. Take my hips back into downward dog. Hey, the rain stopped. A bad day on the road still beats a good one off it. Tell me about that dental procedure again. I can still taste it in my mouth. Progressive helps keep you out there. Do you suffer tired, aching legs? Are painful feet slowing you down? Relieve your aching legs and feet with Revitive Medic Circulation Booster, a drug-free and clinically tested medical device that's been cleared by the FDA. Age, inactivity, or medical conditions can affect the blood flow in your legs and feet. The result? Poor circulation and aches and pains. With Revitive Medic's patented and clinically tested electrical muscle stimulation, it gets your leg muscles moving, increasing fresh, oxygen-rich blood in your legs and feet, improving leg muscle strength and endurance, and importantly, relieving your aches and pains. Fact is, four out of five people who try Revitive keep it because it works. I have tried everything to get rid of my pain, 
and nothing has worked like Revitive. And even better, it's not a drug. My granddaughter asked me to dance with her. Well, I can't turn down my granddaughter, right? So I danced two long dances with her, and I would never have been able to do that without Revita. It makes a, a big difference, quality of life. It's nice to have that filling back and have the control back. Revitive Medic is easy to use. Put your feet on, turn it on. Now increase the intensity to get your leg muscles pumping and your blood moving. And if you use Revitive daily for six to eight weeks, we promise you'll experience significant relief from your aches and pains and back doing the things you love. Try it risk-free with our 60-day money-back guarantee and free shipping. If you're not satisfied, return it for a full refund. We'll even pay your return shipping. That's how confident we are in the power of Revitive. Go to tryrevitive.com right now or call 1-800-463-3521. That's tryrevitive.com. Visit our site today. You don't have to live with pain. You just have to take the leap and try Revitive. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Phillips 66, proud sponsor of Big 12 basketball and Mountain Dew. Do the do. It's the future of the Sooners. Not bad with the worm there. <laughs> and this one just, uh, he's not hes not seeing enough from the Sooners to keep uh, him interested. Let's tell you what, if, if Oklahoma can get on a little mini run here, maybe mom will wake him up. Maybe this will get Christian James woken up a little bit. That's a big shot right there. Cuts that lead to 15. Plenty of time. You just got to find a way offensively to get some sort of consistency. Mooney into the paint. And he'll be fouled on the shot. Yeah, you, you just can't back up a three. A good looking three from James by allowing a guy to drive right around you. And, and Mooney have an opportunity basically straight line drive to the rim. You're right, Chuck. There's plenty of time, but as you know, you, you go deeper into this half. The way Tech defends, you don't want to be 15 down or more. Only was two-time first-team All-Summit lead at South Dakota. I actually saw Matt Mooney play two years ago in the NIT in, uh, in Iowa City. And uh, he was, you could tell, really good player. And, and nothing against the Summit League, but you could tell that Mooney could play at a Power 5 school because of the way he plays both ends of the floor. He scored 1,271 points in two years in South Dakota. up the shot clock six to shoot for Mooney jab steps around James Owens Ooh. oh my goodness thought he got fouled but Oklahoma might have got away with one Kalixti straight at Moretti and an offensive foul this is this is Texas Tech right here for you and this is so hard to do in transition there's a great block from Manning but watch Kalixti Moretti is backpedaling Picks a spot and then takes the charge. Watch, he's backpedaling back foot, but he's keeping enough close distance that Kalixty can't get it to James. And then backpedaling gets set. And that's just, that's not by accident. Again, Texas Tech spends time. They spend time at it in February on the defensive end. Where a lot of other people other coaches, I mean, it's not as fun. You want to talk about tweaking your offense and doing those things, not Texas Tech. The enemy blocked by Owens, but they will call the goal team. Chipping away right now. I like the drive by the enemy, who's going to be a really good player in time for Oklahoma, just a freshman. Doesn't turn it over much, good defender, good body language. Always has positive things to say at both ends of the floor. 
But when he comes back as a sophomore next year, Chuck, he's got to be more of a driver. He, he's only been to the line 10 times all season long. And that's one of the things Oklahoma has missed, a point guard that can break you down and get to the rim. Helped away by the enemy. Edwards screen from Owens. Eight to shoot, Moretti, tough three, off the mark, Manic pulls it down. The enemy straight to the hoop again, pulls it out, do it right to Manic, two hands. Here comes OU. Guarded by Reynolds, doubling in the corner. Cross court to Moretti. And a foul on the drive. It'll we'll go against Christian James. I look at Manic on the trail play right here. Coming down the floor, he'll continue to flow to the basket. This is how he got open the last time. No communication between Texas Tech, Culver and Owens looking for bodies. And that's what you do if you're a big fella. You go find an open space near the rim, and you get those kind of looks. And now, Chucky, Oklahoma, the type of team that just needs a couple of positive things to happen to them, and, and they change completely. This team, in a matter of three possessions, now looks like a team that believes that they can win this game. Sooner faithful on their feet with a single-digit game in Norman. Colbert to the hoop. The enemy almost tied him up. Look at a foul first on Manic. And in Francis, that offense has started to sputter a little bit, so here comes Francis back in. In Oklahoma, offensively, how have they gotten this? Well, it stops right here. You get one and done, that allows you to clean the glass and go the other way. Ready, snaps an 11-0 run, lead back to double digits. Well, he's been consistently solid for Chris Beard. Double figures in 10 of the last 11 games. Smart, takes good shots. The enemy for three. Too strong, Owen to rebounds. Strong move, but just too much on the layup. Referee points the other direction, a push on Tariq Owens. The Sooners aren't done yet, down just 12 in Norman. My experience with USA Air has been excellent. They really appreciate the military family, and it really shows. With all that USAA offers, why go with anybody else? We know their rates are good. We know that they're always going to take care of us. It was an instant savings, and I should have changed a long time ago. It was funny because when we would call another insurance company, they would say, oh, we can't be USAA. We're the Weber family. We're the Tennies. We're the Hells, and we're USAA members for life. Get your USAA auto insurance quote today. How do you think they make Starburst taste so juicy? Starburst? Juice Dratic Equation. Super top secret mathematical formula they keep stored inside a safe, inside a vault, inside a volcano. Oh, Juice Dratics. Starburst, unexplainably juicy. When you drive at night, do you have trouble seeing through the blinding lights? Just put your night sight on and the glare is gone. Introducing Night Sight, the glare reducing glasses that help you see at now night. Now you can see all the obstacles in your way. That's because our special polarized lenses enhance color and clarity. And our anti-reflective coating reduces the glare and sharpens your view. So you can clearly see everything in front of you. I have to tell you, I was actually scared to drive at night from the glares, from the other cars and the lights. It would just blind me. But now with Night Sight, I'm comfortable driving, rain or shine, all throughout the night. 
It's like watching the road in crystal clear high definition and just right for cutting the bright glare in your rear view mirror. It's always hard to see when it's raining or snowing, but with night sight, even the darkest objects appear nice and bright. No more glaring headlights to distract you. Highway signs are now easy to read and lane markers all look brighter. With all this glare at night, I wasn't able to see anything before, but now that I've got night sight, I can see clear as day. The unique side lens prevents glare coming in from the side, and if you wear prescription glasses, night sight fits right over them. Stylish and durable to last a lifetime. Riding a motorcycle is dangerous, and you need to see the whole road clear. With night sight, I see the road perfectly. What I really like about night sight is the peripheral vision. Now I can see everything from the side. It brings day into night, and it is perfect. Just put your night sight on, and the glare is gone. Get your polarized high-definition night sight glasses now for just $19.99. You'll also receive the deluxe hard case as our gift. And the shipping is free. But order right now and we'll double the offer. Just pay a separate fee. You get it all for just $19.99. To order, call 1-800-313-7535 or go online at GetNightSight.com. Don't delay. Call 1-800-313-7535 or go online at GetNightSight.com. Order now. Duke is out for the sweet. Virginia is out for sweet revenge. Hold up, let me get up in it now. I'm here to win it Setting now. up a high stakes rematch. Number two, Duke. Number three, Virginia. Round two. Tonight at six on ESPN. Trey Jones was not featured in round one. He will play alongside Reddish Barrett and Williamson in round two. And they've been good ones. You do not want to miss them. Seven of the last nine by single digits. Be a fun game to watch in the ACC. Two of the top teams in the entire nation going at it. Oklahoma clawing their way back into this game. They've been down by as many as 20. Doolittle going to work. Too strong. Manic can't keep it alive. That's a great look right there. Mooney gave Doolittle a lane along the baseline. Typically, Doolittle's going to make those. Reynolds can't believe it. Now we'll see if jump ball or foul. Yeah, he grabbed him on the arm. No question. But i tell you what I like. Reynolds' passion right there. Oklahoma needs to continue to have that. Culver doubled into Odiase. Straight up, Doolittle, good contest. Oh, nice cut from Mooney, got it! I'll tell you what, every time Oklahoma receives a little light, there's gonna be a slight opening, Texas Tech makes a play. Great flash right there from the perimeter. Mooney goes right down the gap, that window. And Odiasi, that's an easy one right there. Again, that's that's one of those guys that's been around the block a few times in Mooney. Teammate in trouble, flash hard, give him some help. Doolittle double. The enemy extra pass Reynolds. Manic mid-range. Good ball movement to find the open Manic. It was. And what you have is Oklahoma trying to get the matchup opportunity on the block with Doolittle. So because of that, Tech has the double team. And you get the ball reversal back to the weak side, leaving Manic open in the corner. Taken away by the enemy. Reynolds streaks across out front left hand. No, oh, he missed it. And that's what we've seen so often as Oklahoma tries to crawl back. Buckets like that, the floater yeah. a moment ago. It's precious. You, know, you only get, at this level, a handful of those a game. And you might not even get that many against a team like Tech. You have to make good on it. Third. To break this down, about 10 minutes to play. The next five minutes of this game for Oklahoma to cut this to single digits to make it realistic. What does that need to look like for the Sooners? I, it hadn't changed, you know, from the tip. This end of the floor, defensively, you've got to string a series of stops together. 
Sometimes coaches will refer to kill. So kill meaning three straight stops. So they have to have that first and foremost. The intensity is there. It hadn't been there until about the 15 minute mark of the second half. And if you're long crew, you just hope that it's not too late. They're, they're bringing an element of toughness that had been missing, so that's good. And then on the other end, plenty of time, as you said, Chucky, in this basketball game. You don't have to get it all back at once. You know, I'd like for Coach Kruger in Oklahoma to go back to the block somewhere, whether it's Manic or even Christian James in a matchup situation. And Doolittle's back in there. Put pressure on the interior of Tech's defense. The enemy attacking. It, he's been night and day from first half to second half, hasn't he? Confident right there. That's the second time that he has driven against Tech in the half court. And something positive has happened. Foul on Odoms, his second. Ready, the sophomore from Italy. 92% free throw shooter. And really has made that jump you see sometimes with, with good players from their freshman to sophomore year. He, he was productive last year, no question. And I think his experience, as you were alluding to in July, play for Italy in the under 20 European championships over there in Germany you know helped him even that much more but he's a guy certainly that Chris Beard can trust Mooney pulls down the board Screen for Francis wasn't there. Mooney, tough fadeaway. Borkru has it. He falls down out to Francis. Swings to Edwards. Borkru right handed. I mean, there it is right there. I mean, it's, you know, the fans wanted to walk. But, but the point is, that was just Tech out toughing Oklahoma on that possession. Again, it looks like Oklahoma is going to get a stop, and then Tech beating them to basketballs. Offensive glass, 50-50 balls. And that just can't happen. Owens on the Manic. Up to Mooney, poked away for a second. Seven to shoot. Mooney pulls up, rims out. Manic has the rebound. Eight to play in the game. It is a 17-point difference. Odom's dancing on Owens. Mid-range shot just rims out. We've seen a ton of those yeah. today for Oklahoma. Matt Freeman misses that one. And when Oklahoma's had success in the half court, it's been after ball movement. You, you cannot, even if you got a matchup that's decent for you with Odoms, who's a driver on the wing, you can't just put it in somebody's hands and try to beat them in a one-on-one -on -one containment situation. They're just too disciplined and not allowing you any angles. The enemy floater off the mark. Edwards pulls it down. And one of the things I think that is probably not talked about with Texas Tech and Chris Beard, obviously we spend so much time on the defensive side of it, but he's very good at closing the game and managing the clock. You'll notice that they don't have a break in transition. The last three or four minutes, they are running clock, understanding they're up 17 on the road. They don't want to take anything quick and allow Oklahoma to get off and run. Three to shoot, Edwards gets to the hoop, an easy one, and an and one opportunity for the freshman Kyler Edwards. Texas Tech up 19 when we return. I'll tell you a little bit about a special teammate Oklahoma had today on the bench. You don't get to be the most awarded SUV brand ever. 
without the luxurious craftsmanship of Jeep Grand Cherokee. The fuel efficiency of Jeep Cherokee. The legendary capability of Jeep Renegade or the innovative technology of Jeep Compass. So it's no wonder Jeep Wrangler was named 2019 Motor Trend SUV of the Year. And that's why more people are joining the Jeep family than any other brand. This is Game Fuel. It's domination in a can. Tastes like loser tears. The new Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel. Victory in a can. Round one was an epic showdown. Hold up, let me get up in it now. I'm here to win it now. L-O-G, I see I'm feeling free. I'm finna bring it now. Setting up a high stakes rematch. Duke is out for the sweep. Virginia is out for sweet revenge. I get up. I get up. Wah Number two, Duke. Number three, Virginia. Round two. A sonic blockbuster season continues. Duke, Virginia, tonight at 6 on ESPN. Wireless for 20 bucks a month. <laughs> that's not right. It's right, all right. Now, chunky style milk, that's not right. I choose chunky style milk because it has the wholesome chunks growing kids need, unlike smooth style milk. Hey, guys. Save some chunks for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not right. Kind of like your wireless bill. Mint Mobile is easy, online, and just 20 bucks a month. Right now, buy one month and get two months free at mintmobile.com. Not sure you have the right credit card? Know which one to get? Turn to the nerds. Dinner's on me, get it? <laughs> oh. The experts at NerdWallet make it easy to make smart money moves. Compare and find the best credit cards for you at nerdwallet.com. I'm feeling good. Make the most of your business card with Vistaprint. I'm feeling good. 500 standard cards start at just $9.99 with code BCNOW. I'm feeling good. Own the now with Vistaprint. Oklahoma at a honorary sixth starter day. That's Caleb Freeman, December 19th, 2017. Caleb and his brother were in a horrific wreck. They were T-boned by a semi on their way to an Oklahoma men's basketball game. Caleb was in a coma for two months, severe brain damage. They said 90% of the people with his condition don't even wake up. You see him there with Buddy Heald and Trey Young. Well, Caleb came out of it, he woke up, they said, He's probably never, never going to walk again or eat again, as we see Caleb in the crowd today. He's done that. No walker, no wheelchair anymore. Just an inspirational story. He's been an inspiration to this program, but I, I think certainly as we've learned his story to everyone. And what a tremendous young man. Great family. And, and you got a great look at him right there. Like if you didn't know his story, you'd have no idea. I mean, such a miracle that he's doing so well and I, and I know these players uh, have really been inspired by him it's, it's, it's really an a, amazing story you know, where he's where he's come from he's back in school at Newcastle High School at straight A's last semester <laughs> an AP algebra an incredible story AP algebra now, who would want to do that I mean uh, meet young man. Sooners just can't find it today. Six minutes to play, down 20. When you get down to a team like Tech, Virginia, Kansas State, people like that, and you're you're down 10 or 11, Chucky, let's say. In, in relative terms, that's more like 17 to 18 with other ball clubs because it's not just the defense but then, then they manage this in and as I said Chris Beard knows when to pull off the gas a little bit now they haven't completely shut it down but they have really managed the last 10 minutes well Texas Tech trying to add to that number today most games allowing fewer than 50 points. Virginia's unbelievable on the defensive end. I mean, they're number one in the country in opponent points per game. And it's it's really not even close. Texas 
Texas Tech on this end has tied their season high in three-pointers made of 10. Still plenty of time. Culver might try to make it 11. Oh, what a move. The crossover. I don't think he got it off. He's shown these last two possessions. Didn't get that off. The, the NBA range three just late in the shot clock. And then the move there to cross over and get, get a pretty good look at the end of the clock. He, he really has all phases. And I mean by that ability to get the rim, you saw right there. Knock down the long range shot. He's got a little mid range game. That length where he can pull up and go over the top. We saw him hit a 15 foot jumper earlier uh, that was contested. He's, he's got the length that the NBA loves. He's, I, I think whenever he goes, that people will find him to be, which he is, bright. His priorities are straight. He's a team guy. He's humble. But at the same time, he, know, he knows he can play. Yeah. Right now, the latest I've seen from ESPN's mock drafts, he's at number eight, and they like him to go to the Atlanta Hawks, which conveniently enough puts him with Trey Young. A, uh, interesting young for in Atlanta, two exciting Big 12 players potentially teaming up at the next level. I'll tell you what, you look at what Tech lost coming this year. Again, six of their eight top scores. A great senior class with Keenan Evans, Justin Gray, Zach Smith, Ian Stevenson. You had the grad transfer in Tommy Hamilton. So there were your five seniors. And then you lost Zaire Smith. <laughs> he goes from a, you know, a, not a lightly recruited high school player, but very under the radar. He's, he's a first round pick of the Suns. Zaire just a, a freak athletically. It, it, and then look where Texas Tech is. Tariq Owens picks up foul number four right there. They'll leave him in for now. Chris Beard thinking this probably isn't a factor at this point, but you never know. Already <laughs> the enemy called for a block, and OU disagrees. Fourth on the enemy. Already at this level, not a ton of experience. Played a little bit yesterday, or last year, excuse me. First tonight on ESPN 6 Eastern, another Sonic blockbuster. It is Zion and the second ranked Blue Devils taking on number three Virginia. It's the rematch, and uh, we'll all be watching this one. 72 70 is how the first one went at Cameron Indoor Saturday primetime presented by H&R Block. Not a great college hoops on today. We'll be tuning in after ours concludes. Back to Moretti, Brendan. You talked about experience that they brought in with the grad transfers, and Moretti, not necessarily the experience. He's just a sophomore, played a limited role last year, but. He's got the experience at the international level. I mean, these are guys that have played a lot of basketball. A kid who went through Italy's national team system, U16, U18, U20. We'll talk more about Davide Moretti. When we come back, it's a 20-point game in Norman. It's time. Okay, let's check our constant contact email results. Oh my goddess. Constant contact email marketing. Powerful stuff. Wow. All right. These cheesy bacon fries are tremendous. I know. Crispy bacon is the best thing to ever happen to the fries. <laughs> what? It's the Fries Show. McDonald's World Famous Fries. Featuring bacon. Or is the crispy bacon giving the fries some street cred with a whole new audience? I'm going to let bacon think that. What was that? I couldn't hear you over the bacon ovation. <laughs> bacon. Bacon, bacon. McDonald's Classics with Bacon, only for limited time. Is it the best thing to happen to our classics or to bacon? Try for yourself and decide.
Hiring was always a huge challenge. Endless hours on job sites with not a lot to show for it. Then I found ZipRecruiter. They figured out hiring. I post my job, they put it all over the web, and they send me the right people because their technology is smart. ZipRecruiter often sends me the right person in 24 hours. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Try it for free today at ZipRecruiter.com slash easy. You need to buy a car, and you want to get an excellent price. You'd think with all these options, it'd be easy. But with terms like MSRP, invoice, list price, things get confusing pretty fast. You just want to get a real price, and that's where TrueCar comes in. Only with TrueCar can you see what other people paid for the car you want. And you can connect with certified dealers who offer prices based on this same information. None of those other sites do that. From end to end, TrueCar is your only one-stop solution. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by 5-Hour Energy Shots. Get back to 100%. And in part by ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Those shots are not misleading at all. If you haven't been watching this game, we take talking about Davide Moretti before the break. A guy that's really stepped up in conference play, almost three points per game more in Big 12 play. That's uh, that's not easy to do. Right at about 11 on the season. Guy that they needed, though. Uh, you talked about all the players they lost. Somebody had to step up. Moretti's been one of those guys. Yeah, consistently good, as we've talked about. And I think it's very relative to show that his numbers are up. And I, I think there's no better way. You know, once you get 10, 11 games under your belt, you when know, I look at guys' numbers in this league, what have you done against your peers? And annually one of the best leagues in America. And Moretti's numbers have gotten better. Probably the this equally as important thing that he does is he doesn't turn it over. Ball from Culver. Quickly inside. Odoms up and got it. And one chance for Richard Odoms. Odoms is senior from Copper's Cove, Texas. Same high school as his. Robert Griffin the third. Take a little look right here. Odom's in space. You see Culver playing way over that right shoulder. That's, that's by design. Chris Beard and his staff. Assistant coach Glenn Cyprian had the, the scout. They talked about, hey, force him, make him go back to the right. And to Odom's credit right there, he did. Good, strong finish. You know, and he's a guy, you know, Oklahoma's just puts him at three and three and eight in the league. And they got a lot of work to do. But it's a guy like Odoms that's been around the program who, in terms of toughness, when you look at that senior group, he, he's a guy that has proven to be physically and mentally tough through his career. A guy that will do whatever Lon Kruger wants him to do to help the team win. He, he may have to be a timeout. Yeah, sorry, Charles. He may have to be that guy yep. to get Oklahoma that that toughness and confidence back Sooner certainly looking for something Texas up seven Texas Tech up 17 we'll keep it here ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by five-hour energy shots get back to 100% and in part by zip recruiter the smartest way to hire Well, earlier he was at least facing the court. Now, just in case he wakes up, he makes sure he doesn't, he don't want to see anything. Well, there he is. You know, they did that because there's 246 left, and they don't want to have to carry him out. Yeah. So they're trying to get him. He's, they're trying to get him an early uh, wake-up call right there. Say, when well, those kids are asleep, it's it's dead weight, man. <laughs> Talked about Oklahoma. They're going to go to 
three and eight in the Big 12. On the other side, you have Texas Tech, who's going to improve to seven and four, and they're right there in the mix. And it just seems like this year, realistically, there are you know we always talk about it. Who who can beat Kansas? But in reality, I think we all think well they're going to find a way. This year, the Jayhawks look as vulnerable as yeah. we've seen them in a long time, yeah. and it seems like. It's not just one team that can do it. It's not just K-State. It's Texas Tech. It's K-State. It's Iowa State. Even right. Baylor has shown to be much better than what people thought this year. Well, if you look at the history of the league, where, where Kansas has dominated the regular season title, but there haven't been very many years they're going 16-2. and two. You know, they've done it a lot of years, 14-4, and four, some 13-5. and five. Yep. And, and that very well is what... It could end up being this season. And so, yes, Texas Tech is very much in the mix. K State's in great position right now. But I wouldn't count out Bill Self in Kansas ever. Yeah, I, I chuckled. I was telling somebody the other day, and I, and I can't remember what year it was, but when Texas AM, Kansas had won like eight, eight, and AM and was still the league, and somebody picked AM to win it. And I, I, I just said to chuckle, but here's your standings right there. As we're talking about Chucky. K-State 7-2. and two. Um, This Texas Tech team, it's like they'll be 7-4. and four. That's, that's one game out. K-State, big game coming up at Baylor after this one over on ESPN2. And it's could get them to 8-2 and two and really... At that point, everyone's looking up at, at the Wildcats. We'll take a look at what the Red Raiders have to look forward to. You talked about it. Yeah. Had to have Oklahoma, and then you get Oklahoma State on Wednesday. Yeah. It, it, Oklahoma State, a team that's depleted, given Mike Point everything they have, but just not a lot of bodies there. And they labor to score, so it's going to be tough going against Texas Tech. So if, if they could go to Stillwater Wednesday night, very realistic to get a win there. And then you got four or six to close out at home. And the crowds are terrific there. When it's, when it's filled, it's a tough place to play. Over attacking the rim, had it swatted away. At that point, if you're Chris Beard, you're just glad he's not hitting the floor. Just safe out there. Let's get to the next game. Still, talked to Long Cruz yesterday for the first time, and you see from a distance how calm he is and his demeanor as we look at Oklahoma's upcoming schedule at Baylor at TCU. Does not get any easier for them, but just saw there on that turnover, he just claps and, and moves on. Yeah, and it's it, unbelievable. He's positive. I mean, he is he is honest with this team right now that they they've lost their edge and some toughness. You know, not completely impossible, Chucky, but they'll probably have to win five and seven to get to that eight win mark of Big 12 play if they want to get to the NCAA tournament. That's a lot of work to do in this league. Tariq Owens misses the three. Odoms is going to take it down and pad the stat column. That's going to do it. An impressive road win for Texas Tech. Start to finish, the Red Raiders took care of business. Texas Tech improves to 19 and 5 on the season, 7 and 4 in the Big 12. We'll take a quick break and then come back to wrap things up from Norman, Texas Tech, victorious.